now I'm going to sink the throttle bodies. Step one, fit the gauges to the carbs. Warm the engine until it will idle reliably without choke and should not be at full operating temperature at this point as it may lead to overheating later. If you have a fan, place it so that it blows cold air over the cylinder head or radiator. Work in a well ventilated area. Set up a fan. So if you look in here, there's three screws. This is the one you don't turn. It has white paint on it. This one is brass colored and then the one over here. This one synchronized the ECU. So you don't touch that one. So I'm going to hook up the hoses. I've got to pop off these little rubber caps. There's one there. You undo this little clip. And there's one right in there. And one down in here. So let me get those three little rubber caps off. And then I can hook up the CarbTune Pro. So all three of these will be the same. You got to squeeze right here with some pliers, get this little metal clip off, and then pull the rubber guy off. I'm going to go ahead and put a rag over this just so I don't drop it in there. That would be a nightmare. Squeeze that. And I'm going to come around and see if I can get the rest off with the screwdriver. Good. It looks like I can just grab it with my fingers now. So I'll do the other two the same way. So now I'll just get the Cartoon Pro ready. If you watched my previous video, I showed how to put the restrictors in. So the 10 millimeter section goes towards the engine. So I'm going to hook that up. The first one will slide on here. And the middle one goes here. The other one's a little farther down in there, harder to reach. So the third rubber cap was pretty hard to get off because it's way down in here. I had to get some longer needle nose so it's right down here feed it down here and reach in with your finger or get it on the tip and then reach down with your finger and hopefully you can bend it a little bit and get it to go on so this is the reference one we don't adjust that one i'm going to hook up that hose to the left of the manometer there's two sides to the zip tie a smooth side and a rough side so feed it through with the rough side facing up. Bring it up, wrap the zip tie around the handlebar. You can hear the clicking. I'm going to take the reference hose and hook it up to the far left. But I will put the middle one in the middle, so I know it's the middle. And the other one all the way over on the third position. Then I'll double check, make sure I have that good. So on page 3-9, we're going to adjust the throttle body synchronization. Basically, start the engine, warm it up for several minutes, and let it run at the specified engine idling speed. I already said this. Using the throttle body that has the bypass air screw 1 with a white paint mark as a standard, adjust the other throttle bodies by turning its bypass screw in or out. Do not turn the screw with the white paint. Otherwise, the engine may run roughly. So after each step, rev the engine two or three times each time for less than a second and check the synchronization again. So we'll start the engine, let it warm up for several minutes. So here we are to start. You want those three to be level. Two are reading 22 and one's reading about 21. So I'm going to turn the middle one, see if I can get it to come down a little bit. Turning it clockwise, that's an eighth of a turn. Okay, I gotta go the other way. Going counterclockwise, about an eighth. I'm gonna rev it again and see what happens. So it's supposed to be within two. So the far right's at about 23, middle one's at 23 and a half, and the left one seems to be down at 22. So that's all within one, but I wish they were closer, turning the middle one to the left, turning the left one to the right of hair, turning the right one, the left one to the right of hair. Ready to left the right and the hair. We're almost pretty close now. Pretty close right there. 
I'm only at 163 degrees, so I'm okay. <laughs> Turning the middle one to the right of here. It's like the two left ones are just off a little bit. Only at 169 degrees on the engine. So the one in the middle needs to go up a little bit. So if I turn it to the right of here and see if it goes up. Okay, I'm going to call that one good for now. So they're basically perfect now. All within one mark. I'm going to run it up and see if my fan turns on. So there's a fan in there. Should kick in at 220, 217, 219. Okay, the fan's going. See it going in there. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now. So now that the throttle bodies are synced, I just have to take this apart and reinstall these rubber caps. I like this zip tie because it comes undone. So the caps will go on just like we took them off.